Now, I simply give that to you so you have some flavor around how we look at this from a company perspective. But I also understand your perspective that you'd like some sort of comfort language added. Yeah, so nice. historically, as a company, we've always stepped up and taken care and of I this. I understood that. But yeah. there is a risk. You said that. I well, cannot let you. There is a risk. Yeah, it's, it's, we've got a five. And we, we have a number. So the question is, you know, you say you cannot accept to put this number on um, all this language on the contract, then what is that we done? Yeah. What are the options that we have today? Right. So either you are going to cover us, or we need to, to look at for coverage somewhere else. So right. I, I acknowledge that you have a risk. I'm not trying to state that you don't. I'm trying to give you our perspective on how we view that mm -hmm. and see if we can come to a resolution. What I want to do is take your particular request back to a position that's higher than us uh, to see if there is something that we can do. I want to properly set the expectations that I don't have a guarantee that I can bring anything back to you. But I will try. What I want you to know is we will work as hard as we can to keep you as a customer. At the end of the day, it might come to I can't get exactly to the language you want, but I also want us to balance that black and white against the probability of it playing out. Right? So there's black and white contractual language, and then there's the reality check of what's the likelihood of this playing out, and what's your total exposure? What's our total exposure, and is there some sort of concession that we can come to in the middle? You need the product. We want to sell you the product. Right? So Certainly for well-reasoned minds. We are going to, to be the ones facing this risk. Right? And then if, there is, if we are going to court, the only thing that is going to be really take into account is what is in the country, right? So what, I, what I'll speak to with regard to that... And, and, and in addition, you said that you have never authorized these kind of things with other customers, right? What I will say is based on my knowledge, yes. we have not, but I'm willing so to take that to a higher... have a solution today, right? It means and I am here to, to explore that with you. Additional solution. We have a possible solution. Yeah, we've, we've quantified the risk. Uh, we believe we can take insurance for a third party, but that would require a cost from us. So are you willing to negotiate the price of the contract? And uh, so we can then take the, uh, the third party insurance? Well, I hope that we have expressed to both of you that the price that we have in front of you today is a very aggressive and a price that recognizes the long-standing relationship that we've shared for many years. So basically you're not ready to give us the indemnification and you're not ready to give us a better price that will help us get the indemnification from a third party. If I could just, re that you collaborate if I could just rephrase that, what I'd like to do, what I'm prepared to do, is go and explore the options around the IP indemnification. Okay. If we can't get to a place that we all can live with, then we can take a look at the second piece that you've asked for. So, asked for. so I can't right now so come in by. We'll be happy with that, but we need to move quickly. And, and what, what, what are, are what, what are well what are your deadlines? What 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 time well, frame do we need to work with in? Well, the unit that we need to decide based on the uh, contract, the existing contract we have, we need to take a decision by the end of this month. I think it us like 15 days to really move ahead or not. Right, so. What is the, the, the pace and the speed that you can work? This has a top priority. Right? This has our absolute top priority, which is why I'm here. And shut up. Thanks, you guys.